Hey guys, it's Janae. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another um, project share. This is a collaboration that I have done with In Love um, Art Shop. And so for starters, um, I should say I will have my discount code down below for you um, to, save your, to save money. And I will have all of the products also linked down below. Um, the, the very first die that I'm going to show you is a teapot die and this is what it looks like. For this one right here, um, I did die cut like the handle right here and then also the lid. And then I did use like a gold marker to go around and then I put vellum like for the window. And then I also added like a dangly bit right here where the spout is. And then I decided to make some like little tea bags. And then this is one of the little tea bags that I created. And in here, I just added some sequins and whatnot, and I used vellum, kind of like a tea bag is, you can see through it. Um, and then in here, I'm just going to, it's gonna house the little tea bag. Like so. And then I also created this one. Very similar, um, this one, I just used a different bow right here and then I added a whole flower and I did not do the gold leaf um, like stuff on this window part right here or the gold marker, I mean. I did add another little bead right here from the spout and um, again, it does have a little tea bag. I've seriously been loving the garden party collection, playing with it. I think it's really easy to play with you guys. It just flows so naturally. It reminds me so much of Bloom. Um, and then this is just a cute little box. It does have the little holes right there where you can like tie it up and use it as like a little party favor, but I wanted to add the tea bag. And then that die is right here. It does have some other layering elements, but I didn't use them. This is like the basic teapot little box. And then this right here is actually a layering element for the front of this right here. But like I said, I didn't use that. And then this is the heart. I just, I cut the heart out to do the window and then it has like the spout and all of that. And then next um, I picked up, well actually I made one more tea bag. This is the other tea bag that I created. Next is this like little envelope um, style die that I got. It's really cute. It has like some heart elements on the front. You just really can't see it because I've layered <laughs> on top of it. And it does have like your little um, letter that you can, you know, pull out and write on if you used paper you could see the writing on. Um, I did add some like little beads and charms. These uh, these right here are actually from my giveaway challenge that I had going on. And then this flower die right here is also another one of their dies and I will show that to you here in just a second. So on this one um, I did actually use another die. So this one little embellishment, I'm using three dies. I did get the teacup die and I decided to put it here and I'm not sure if I'm gonna put anything else here, but I did get that little teacup die. So that is the first one I made. And then this is the second one. I seriously love the little chicken in this collection. I love it. I did add some beads to the side right here. Again, these are from my challenge giveaway. And then again, this is another flower that I picked up from their shop. And in here, I just did some layering, like I did a paper butterfly with one of the puffy butterflies and some tickets behind. Super simple. And then on this, I also put the um, teacup like on the inside of this liner. Um, and then I'll show you the dies here in a second, but these are also the flowers I created, but I did add a clear bell so that I can use them as charms. <clears throat> like so, and then here's two more. Again, the clear bell. And I will show you the dies for that really quick. So this is actually the um, 
teacup dye and I didn't use a whole lot of this dye um, because it does actually cut it out so that it's hollow and I'm really terrible at fussy cutting. So this is the dye. I do believe I used these two right here. And this one says coffee together. And then it does have like the tea kettle. Super cute, you guys. This dye is so cute. And then I will show you the flower dye. So the flower dye, you guys, it comes with so many different options that you can use. I just, I didn't use all of them because there's a ton here. But it comes as one solid piece. And then you have all of these, um, like, flower and leaf dyes right here. So I didn't use, I think I used this one right here, but then none of the rest of them. And I did use the butterfly. I die cut some of that one out too. But these are the ones that I used to actually make the charm. And I didn't use all of them per um, like each flower. I used a couple and, you know, just kind of mixed and matched it. And then there's also this right here. So that is the flower dye, which is right here. And then also the ones I used right here on the projects. And then next, I got this envelope die. And it's such a cute envelope die. It's totally stitched. I have the flap up, but as you can see, it has stitch detail. And I just made this very simple. This blue die cut right here is also a die from In Love Art Shop, but this is from a previous collaboration. Again, very simple. I have not yet die cut like the liner that goes in here, and I'm not sure I'm going to. And then there is this one right here. And on this one, I did use a wax seal. And then um, again, another die cut from a previous collaboration from In Love Art Shop. And this one right here, I did do, you can't see it on this one. You can barely see it here. I did a lot of like paper tearing. And then I also used old sheet music. And that is this guy right here. Very simple, you guys. Just an envelope die with a liner. And this is probably one of my favorite floral dies, you guys. It's so pretty. Um, it reminds me of a larger die that I have, and I believe it's by Sizzix. But this is it right here. The one thing I can say that I enjoyed about this flower die is that you guys, I don't enjoy <laughs> um, die cutting 5,000 flower pieces to construct one flower. Um, I have a lot of Sizzix dies, but a lot of times you just have to keep die cutting and die cutting and die cutting. And oftentimes I don't have a lot of time to craft. So, so that is the flower um, die and I'll show it to you here in a second. And I did add some cheesecloth like behind the leaves just for some texture. I've really been liking the cheesecloth look lately. I think it adds a really great amount of texture. And then that is this die right here. And for this one, I did leave it completely assembled because I just die cut it all at once and then use different patterns. But as you can see, this is one solid piece. Like you have your base, you layer this one next, and then this one goes on top, and then you have your leaves. Very simple die, you guys that it went really, really well with both the Garden Party and Marigold collection. I did use some of the Garden Party, garden party paper um, and then some vintage sheet music. And then I embellished it using Garden Party. This is such a cute die, you guys. And so for this, I just kind of tore the papers and then I did outline the edges in a gold marker. And for that die, this is what it looks like. It's just the one piece, so you don't have to die cut a million pieces. Such a great die. Your guys, you guys, their dies always cut so well. Never had any issues. Anyways, you guys, that is um, 
my project share for In Love Art Shop. Like I said, I will leave all of the information down below to the products that I have shared with you here and also a discount code should you want to pick any up. And if you do and you pick any of these dies up that I have already showed you, tag me if you use them on Instagram. I'm always curious to see how everybody else uses the dies. Um, I would love to see. Um, yeah, and thank you so much, you guys, uh, for watching, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.